What's up you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. In today's video, I'm just gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look at what a normal Friday lo looks like for me as a full-time reseller. I've got three orders that I sold yesterday, so I'm gonna get those pulled, packed, and shipped out. And then I head to probably four, maybe five thrift stores today. I'm looking for hard goods, uh, shoes, anything that's got a relatively high value. I'm not sourcing clothes so much right now, so I'm looking for high value electronics, hard goods, and, and shoes. So, should be a pretty fun video today, stick around. So here I am in my eBay storage area. This is where I store everything that I have currently listed. You can see I have a bunch of shoes. Uh, all these bins are labeled and all my stuff is in the bin. Most of, this, most of the stuff is in the bins. I got some stuff on the floor. The first thing we got going out today is this pair of Hoka 1-1 running shoes. This is a great brand to be on the lookout for. And you can see these sold for $45 with free shipping. Uh, these are right here. You can find these at thrift stores I don't know, every once in a while. They have to be in really good condition though. These have a little bit of mid sole wear, but nothing on the toes or heels. I paid $6.50 for these shoes at Goodwill. And again, they sold for $45 with free shipping. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, I should profit about $25 on these. The next thing we got going out is this two pack of hairspray. I found 150 of these cans of hairspray at Goodwill. About a month and a half ago, I paid 92 cents each, and each two pack is selling for $35 with free shipping. After shipping, cost of goods, and everything like that, I'm making about $12 per can. Uh, and again, I paid 92 cents each. So these were a great find at Goodwill. And I'm actually thinking about raising my price on these because the trending price, um, you see it says right there, trending at $51. So I've got about... I got about 50 or 60 cans left, so I'm actually thinking about increasing my price to probably $39.99 with free shipping just to uh, maximize my profits. This next item is in here. It's item M11, which is right here. This is a jacket. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It was a retail arbitrage fund, which just means that's when you buy stuff at a retail store for a certain price and you sell it online for a higher price. So I think I paid $40 for this jacket. It was like $39.99, I think. I need to go back and check my books. But you see here, it sold for $60 with free shipping. Now, the original retail price on this jacket was like $140, I think. So spending $40 at TJ Maxx to for $140 retail item, I thought that was going to be a little bit better flip. But I've got two of these. They've been listed for probably three months, three or four months. And this is the first one I've sold. So it's a little frustrating. I'm not making more money because I thought this was going to be a better buy. But, uh, you know, I just I, I want to share my wins and my losses with you guys. So I paid 40 bucks for this at TJ Maxx. After everything's said and done, I might make like eight to ten dollars in profit. This jacket is just going to get thrown into one of these poly bags. I use teal poly mailers just because I don't like white. It's just boring. So I got these on Amazon. I'll put a link to these in the description. I think it was like 14 bucks for 200 of these and this is a great size for 90 percent of clothing so yeah this is just going to get thrown into the poly bag and it will ship uh let's see how much it weighs it weighs 14 look at that 14.4 ounces perfect this is going to ship first class so that's all you got to do for clothing just throw it in a bag ship it first class so for the hairspray i use this strip of bubble wrap i put one on the end like that one on the end opposite zigzag ways or whatever and then just roll them together Put them in the box, take some packing paper and put it on each side. Nice and snug, good to go. Then we have the shoes. These will get thrown into a priority shoe box. You get these for free from USPS.com. So since these shoes didn't take up the whole box, the box is like 15 inches tall. Some people put packing paper inside to like, you know, tighten everything up, but I like cutting the box down a little bit because this will cut down on the overall weight. Instead of adding the weight of packing paper to the box, you cut down some weight of the box and still get a snug fit. So I like to do that with short shoes. So once I have all my packages packed up, I put them on the front porch and my mail lady picks them up. Also, that's my dog. If you've never met him, he's super lazy and sleeps in weird positions. So U.S. Postal Service doesn't pick up everywhere, I don't believe. I know Hustle at Home Mom says that she lives in Utah and they do not offer a porch pickup for her. So check with your local area, but most people should have the option for a porch pickup. You can go on the USPS website and schedule it. Um, I did that once, and then when my mail lady picked it up, I told her, I'm like, hey, I'm going to have packages on this porch every weekday. Do I have to schedule it every single day, or can you just pick it up every day? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. Just put your flag up. I'll know to look on the porch. Um, she's my mail carrier like Tuesday through Saturday. So on Mondays, I put a little letter in the mailbox 
Um, I just tell them, you know, my flag's up, porch it, the packages are on the porch. So uh, it works for me and I never have to go to the post office. Bye, Mose. Love you. So the first stop of the day is gonna be this Goodwill. It has half of the store is the retail store, which is just like a normal Goodwill. And the other half of the store is the clearance center or the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins where you buy things by the weight. It's very unorganized, but it's you can really find some good stuff in there. So let's get in here and see what we can find. And again, I'm not looking at clothing today because I have a ton of clothes right now. So the, every store I go to today, I'm only looking at shoes and hard goods. Also in the last year of drop my keys in the last year of thrifting i have used an ungodly amount of plastic bags from goodwill so this year i'm trying to make sure i bring my ikea bag with me every time i go thrifting so i do not contribute to the world's plastic waste problem as much as i did last year so reusable bags for the win going to the retail store first morning how are you you got anything good today Hopefully, yeah, me too. Benchmark. Benchmark shoes for men. These are just leather loafers, like a medallion toe. Really good condition. I'll go ahead and grab those. These Onyx Suka Tiger shoes from Asics are just a nice classic shoe and depending on the colorway and the style, they can have sold comps ranging from $30 all the way up to like 80 or 90. Now I found these Jordans and I don't usually pick up Jordans because I don't know enough about them, but I've seen so many fakes at the bins and, and other thrift mm -hmm. stores that I know what fakes look like and these seem to be fairly authentic. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research into these and, and make sure they are authentic, but if they are, they should sell for about $80 plus shipping. That's a golf bag. Two dollars. Let me see that. Two dollars and ninety-two cents. It's not a very good brand, Acuity, but it's a stand bag, which means it stands up like that. I'll grab it. Three buck easy times. It's Crocs. Crocs aren't anything special, but these are in very, very good condition. Men's size nine. I'll grab those. So I spent 33 bucks on everything there. The shoe should, should net me over a hundred. This golf bag, I'm actually gonna take this straight to play it against sports today to trade it for a golf club. They'll probably give me, you know, 10, 15 bucks in trade for this. And I'll be able to buy a golf club that I could probably sell for 30 to 40. So that's what I do with my golf bags. We'll head into the bins and see what we can find. Anything good today? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, no, I'm Bunch of books. A uh, hairy tornado, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you found me? By, by accident. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's this garden thing back here. That's mine, but it's oh. the grow pot. It ain't worth it. The grow pot? Well, that's what I. What I it's supposed to be for tomatoes. Don't say pot. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure they are. It's like those those uh, those stores that sell tobacco pipes and tobacco bombs. Am I anybody smoking tobacco out of those things? The only thing I got in the bins today are those video games. They charge you 25 cents a piece for the video games at my bins location. So I paid 50 cents for both of them. And uh, they're okay, they're just Guitar Hero games. So just next time I find a PS3 Guitar Hero guitar, I'll pair one of the games with it. 
and probably send it into Amazon FBA. Probably get like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 bucks for it, depending on what the market is at the time. So this next stop is this next Goodwill. This is uh, just a regular Goodwill, but they usually have some pretty good stuff in here. So let's see what we can find. First thing I found is this pair of Foot Joy golf shoes. They're a little dirty, but I think they'll clean up nicely. And the spikes are still in decent condition. There's a couple of them that are torn off, but $6.50. I think I can probably get 25, 30 bucks for them. And these Nike Total 90 cleats. These are also $6.50 in pretty good condition. You probably get about 30 bucks for these once, once I get them uh, cleaned up. And this this is a PlayStation Guitar Hero guitar. And it works. It's still got batteries in it. <laughs> Just turned it on. It's got the strap. It's got the battery cap. It's expensive, $7.92. But since I just found those games, I'm going to probably go ahead and get it. So I didn't find a lot in there, I just found those two pairs of shoes and the Guitar Hero controller. Uh, those Nike cleats are actually worth a good bit. I'm seeing listings and sold comps for anywhere from 75 to like 90 bucks. So I'm gonna do some more research into those and see if I can find the exact you know, sold comps for that model. Um, the Foot Joy shoes, like I said, they should sell for like 25, 30 bucks plus shipping. Uh, and then the Guitar Hero controller, I will lot with one of the games or both of the games I just bought um, and send that into Amazon FBA. And I don't know how much that's worth on Amazon FBA right now. I'll put a sold comp for a PlayStation 3 controller, uh, the Les Paul Gibson, the black one like this, with a game. Um, I would guess somewhere like 50 bucks or so, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know. It's right there. All right, we are at the next Goodwill. Also, I'm keeping up with my subscriber count. Currently, I'm at 9,972 subscribers. So. I'm hoping that at some point in this video today, I reach 10,000, so we'll see. These golf clubs, Callaway is generally a good brand, uh, but these are just a little bit too old and worn. These clubs are probably 20 years old, 25 years old. Um, just a little too old to be worth anything. And the bag is in really terrible condition too. these Heelys, uh, a little bit of a smaller size, but both of the wheels spin freely. Um, these would be $6.50. I think I can probably get like, I don't know, 25, maybe 30 bucks for them. like 15 minutes in there and the only thing I was able to find was that pair of Heelys um, so I spent 650 and should sell those for like 25 bucks or so um, so not a home run I've done a lot better at that location but you know I could have not found anything so at least some at least I've got some sort of profit coming into it so this is a Salvation Army that I've never been to it's like uh, I don't know maybe 20 miles from my house um, but I've heard good things about it so I figured we try it out today and I wasn't, I didn't drive 20 miles to get here. The last Goodwill I was at is like seven minutes away. Um, so I figured I'd give this a chance, but we'll see what we find. Okay, it's kooky, but the sleeve is ripped. There's a combo unit. Yeah.
Let's uh, let's look it up. Some comps on eBay were like 25 bucks. There were some that were sold for like 50, but they had free shipping. And on Amazon, used it brings like 18 dollars after fees, so not worth it. This is a Levi's. It's like a fleece lined, size extra large denim shirt. Um, I think it's 4.99. So pretty good price. I know I said I wasn't looking at clothes, but I haven't found anything else. So apparently shoes are kind of expensive here. These are some Reebok classics. They're in really good condition. A couple little spots, but overall really, really clean. But they are $13.99. And I don't know. I feel like I can still make some money on these and haven't found anything else here. So let me think about these. Then we got these. Papillo. It says made by Birkenstock. But these are twenty dollars. Jeez. Let me look these up. I'll grab that. So that was kind of a bust too. The store was really small. They didn't have a good selection of items, uh, at least not hard goods. Um, and the clothes they had was really, were really expensive. Like. I've never seen thrift store prices like that in my area. Like even Goodwill isn't that bad. Even the other Salvation Army I go to wasn't that bad. So like 20 bucks for used Birkenstocks, like I guess there might be some money to be made there, but that's not uh, that's not my cup of tea. So we've got one more Goodwill we can go to on the way home that's like right on the way home, so it's perfect. Uh, so we'll hit that up and hopefully find something good today. Okay, so we're at the last Goodwill of the day. Um, this is just a regular, regular old Goodwill, nothing fancy about it. Sorry about that truck noise over there. Uh, but we'll see, hopefully find some good stuff in here. football cleats uh, they just got some grass on them but they're in really good condition six dollars and fifty cents I'll go ahead and pick those up and these Sanooks women Sanooks new with tag these are six dollars and fifty cents yoga mat comfort grab those So I don't normally pick up Ralph Lauren shirts because they're pretty saturated, but this was a 4XLT, which is an excellent size. Nothing special other than the size, just a blue short sleeve shirt, but I should be able to get like 35, 40 bucks for it. This next shirt just seemed to be really well made. The brand was St. Lynn, which I've never heard of, but it was 100% organic cotton and new with tags. And I think the size was an extra large. So just everything considered, you know, and the fact that it was only $4 and 75 cents, I went ahead and picked it up. All right, up. so we are back home now. I've got all my stuff laid out on the floor over here. It looks like in total, we picked up 10 pairs of shoes, the Guitar Hero with the two games, uh, four clothing items, like three shirts and the like Levi, uh, fleece line thing and the golf bag all in all we went to five different thrift stores today and i spent a total of 93 dollars and 48 cents when it comes to the time i left my house at 9 30 a.m and i got back with with all the stuff about 20 minutes ago so that was about 12 30 so about three hours worth of worth of time going to all five stores i know some of you may wonder about the gas i use i went a total of 41 miles today from the time i left my house to the time i got back to my house and my truck gets like 18 miles per gallon and gas here is about $2.20 per gallon. So use like four or five bucks in gas. I don't wanna to get too much into the, the profits because it's kind of weird talking about your profits when you actually haven't even listed anything yet, but I probably should see a profit on this, you know, $93 worth of items of maybe between $250 and $300 in actual taxable income from this haul. If you guys like this video today, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a ton. Thank you so much for watching. I know this has been a long video today, but I just wanted to give you a pretty in-depth look at what a, a normal thrifting day looks like for me. If you guys haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel. I put out at least two new reselling videos every week. So if that's the type of video you like, this is the channel for you. Speaking of which, let's check my sub count here on YouTube. We were at what, like 9,070 something or whatever? Uh, we are currently at 10,044 subscribers. 
Thank you guys so much for your support, for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, commenting on my videos. Uh, without you guys doing that, I wouldn't be here. So I'm incredibly grateful for each of you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. You're the best, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Wow, wow.